Good evening for everyone. Our first interview with Dr. Dharmendra Dubi was very successful. I put it in our site and translate it in Arabic and a lot of people read it and they ask us to do also more and more interview and to get knowledge from this doctor. Some people wrote or told me he is always talking with authority. He is a real Brahman when he talks and mm -hmm. a, like a real guru. That's why we like to listen to him again and to get from his knowledge. And he had already encouraged it a lot, uh, encouraged us a lot in uh, Corona problem and uh, his advices were very sufficient and very, very efficient. So that's why we are welcoming him for a second interview. Dr. Dharmendra Dubi, his main specialty is chronical diseases and also deadly, what he say, what he call deadly diseases. That's why we are interviewing him today on this topic, especially how to prevent such diseases and also how to treat it. Good evening, Dr. Dharmendra Dubi. Namaskar, Namaskar. And thanks for your presence. Thank you, thank you. We'll start by Gabet, Dr. Dharmendra Dubi. Uh, you, uh, uh, you have many, I think, noises. It is very noisy. You have, you are in some time, in somewhere, there is a lot of noises behind you. No, here, behind me, there is no noise. Uh, I was, okay, so this moment now, is okay. now any noise? No, no, this moment okay. is okay. Okay. Let us, uh, Dr. Duby, start by diabetes. How? Diabetes. Yeah, diabetes. Is there some diet to prevent it? Honestly speaking, there is no diet to prevent diabetes. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is nothing that you can prevent diabetes. Mm -hmm. Only what you can do mm -hmm. when you get diabetes, yes. you can control your diabetes. Okay. You can, you can prevent mm. the sugar level mm. which increases. You can prevent that. Okay. You can prevent mm. that after getting diabetes, you get diabetic neuropathy. Okay. You get nephropathy, kidney problem. Mm. You get retinopathy, eyes problem. Mm. You get ear problem. Okay. You get sexual problem. Mm. You get weakness. Mm. You lose weight. Mm. You lose texture of your skin. Okay. You lose all these vision. Problems, Dr. Duby. All these problems you How can to... prevent. Yeah. And in reality, if you want to prevent diabetes, mm. it's really difficult. Then you have to work really very hard if you really want to prevent diabetes. Mm. See, what is diabetes? First, you should understand what is diabetes. Yeah. What is diabetes? See that in Ayurveda, diabetes is called Madhu Meha. Mm. The name in Ayurveda is Madhu Meha. Okay. So there are different different types of diabetes. Mm. One is Vata's diabetes, one is Pitta's diabetes, one is Kapha's diabetes. Mm. One thing you remember, Louis, yes. if some you must have heard that he was having diabetes and he got completely cured. Yeah. Now he is eating sugar, he is eating sweet, and he don't have any problem. Mm. That is Kaffer's diabetes. That is the third type of diabetes. That is called Kaffer's diabetes. Mm. In that diabetes, the patients put on weight. Mm. His weight increases okay. or her weight increases. Mm. So what the physician does, if he is a smart physician, mm. he will just ask him or her to lose the weight. Mm. change the diet mm. and her diabetes or his diabetes vanishes completely. Mm. Then another is Pitta's diabetes. Mm. Pitt means fire. Okay. So in Pitta's diabetes, what happened? The weight of the patient becomes medium. Mm. Like suppose if he is 
100 kg he will become 70 kg okay hmm. okay his diabetes is medium we call it medium hmm. it's not very difficult but you can handle it hmm. but he or she has to take proper medication hmm. and proper diet and proper lifestyle hmm. then third one is vatach diabetes hmm. Hmm. in vatach diabetes what happens the patient loses weight hmm. dramatically dramatically like suppose 100 kgs he will become 50 kg hmm. and what happens in this patient he will become completely skinny he will lose completely fat okay and in this case what happens one day his diabetes is 400 another day it becomes 80 Ooh. that is vatach diabetes fluctuation okay fluctuation hmm. this patient are mostly insulin dependent okay these are mostly insulin dependent hmm. Hmm. it becomes very difficult hmm. for them or any doctor to handle this kind of patient no very medicine. difficult in allopathic medicine, we say diabetes 1 and diabetes 2. Yeah, type 1, type 2. Type, yes. It's type 1, type 2. Mm. But in Ayurveda, there are many. Okay. Ayurveda, there are six types. And at the end, that's Madhumeh, mm. which we called type 1 diabetes. Mm. But that's fine. Now, if you ask me how to prevent it. Okay. First of all, get rid of the stress. Mm -hmm. Very important thing. Mm. Very important thing. In whole world, the big reason, the biggest reason, because 90 percent, 90 percent, believe me, okay. since, since 25 or 26 years I am practicing mm. uh, in US, UK, Madagascar, Reunion, France, even I came to Lebanon also, Mauritius, yeah. Canada, mm. um, for more than 12 years I practiced in US, in India I am already practicing. Mm. What, the real, real reason what I have found is stress now before it was very difficult what is stress stress is the main cause of all diseases maybe not only the mm. at least at least at least 90 percent mm. at least 90 percent now it depends how you're taking the stress stress everyone has yes see stress everyone i also have stress you also have stress the uh, children who are six years seven years old they also have stress Hmm. But it depends how you are taking stress. Okay. If those stress you are taking negatively, hmm. Hmm. and if, if it has given you complete shock, hmm. Hmm. it becomes very difficult. I will give you a simple example. One of my colleague is also a doctor. Hmm. His son, he must be like 18 or 19 years old. Hmm. He, he ran away from his house. Okay just ran away from his house now my friend he was so upset hmm. uh, that where he has gone uh, he, he has fallen down from train or he has lost his life hmm. uh, someone has kidnapped him hmm. means too many thoughts hmm. you know came in his mind at the end they found his son hmm. and he was with one of his girlfriend and they both of them ran away hmm. they brought them back Everything was peaceful, shanti shanti. Mm. But it was a big shock for my friend that my son has done such a thing. Right. After one year, mm -hmm. after one year, he got diabetes. Oh. One after year. one year, after one year, listen, now this is very interesting. I'm talking completely practical things. I'm not uh, telling you anything which are written in the books. Mm. Your mm. life is not in your books. Remember yeah. one thing. Books are completely different. Mm. In the book, they take 30 people, mm. they do their uh, experiment on 30 people mm. and they write as if the whole world has the same problem. Mm. This is completely wrong. Mm. You know, so this is, I am giving you just practical example, practical and real example. Okay. You got my point? So yes. that shock, that shock mm. came out after a year mm. and he got diabetes. Okay. And my friend, who is a doctor in well-known institute, very well-known institute, mm. that's called Patanjali. He is a doctor in Patanjali. You have met him. Yeah. You have met him. Mm. So every day he walks ten kilometers. Okay. Since twelve years, mm. since twelve years he's walking every day in the morning, six o'clock. Twelve, he's walking. Mm -hmm. 
five to ten kilometers every day. Mm. He never eats sugar, never eat rice. Mm. Even though he is doing so much diet problem. Eh, please. Boys. Yeah. Even though he is doing mm. so much diet and so much exercise, mm. still he got diabetes. Oh. Now tell me what is the reason he got diabetes? Yeah. And his family, in his family, no one is diabetic. Okay. Nor his father, nor his mother. What it was the cause? It was a shock. Uh -huh. mm. It was a shock given by his son. Mm. Unexpected thing happened in his life, mm. which he can't accept it. Okay. So this is one example. So, so there are so many things in your life. Mm. So many things. Mm. So when you are young, your shock absorber. Okay. Like if you have a new vehicle, mm. new car. Mm. The shock absorber is good. Mm -hmm. You know, you if you go in a uh, pit or a hole, okay. uh, you don't get that much jerk. Mm. But as the car becomes old, yeah. you feel the jerk. Mm. Same thing happens with your body. Mm. After certain age, your body can't handle the stress, can't handle the shock. Okay. And your pancreas, mm. your pancreas, mm get attacked. Okay. The root cause for diabetes is pancreas. Hmm. There are H beta cell which get disturbed mm -hmm. and the production of insulin get disturbed. Hmm. See, Louis, one thing you understand, every organ, every organ in your body, hmm. liver, kidney, heart, spleen, pancreas, yeah. they have their own sense Remember one thing. Own sense. They own sense. Sense. Yes. Yes. They have their own emotion. Okay. Remember one thing. They have their own emotions. You understand? Yes. Heart yes. has its own emotion. Liver has its own emotion. Mm. Kidney has its own emotions. Yeah. They sense, like, you know, like we think our brain is only a sensory organ. But your soft organs, these are called soft organs. Every soft organ organs, has his own conscious Own organ, sense, awareness. own understanding. Yeah, no, that's true. They have their own sense and own understanding. Oh. Why only pancreas get affected? Yes. During diabetes. Yeah. You, when you have blood pressure, high blood pressure. Okay. Your kidneys get affected. Okay. Why mm. only kidney? Mm. Why not liver? Yes. When you drink alcohol too much, mm. your only liver get affected. Yeah. Why not other organ? Okay. And there are people who are not drinking alcohol. Mm. They are religious people. They have never seen alcohol. Okay. But their liver has been damaged. Mm. They are eating proper diet. Proper lifestyle, still mm. their liver has been damaged. Why? Because the effect of their lifestyle, their stress has affected liver. Okay. So, so it, all the organs have their own sense, own understanding. Okay. So how to treat this problem of sense of own sense? See, Luis, for I told you before also, mm. for everything in Ayurveda, there are only two basic things. Okay. Your lifestyle. Yes. Your diet. Okay. No, lifestyle is lifestyle is very big. Mm. Lifestyle is very big. Mm. It's not a simple thing. Mm. In Ayurveda, it's called Din Charya. Din means day-to-day life, what we do in whole day. Okay. In according to Ayurveda, your day starts. Early in the morning from 3.30. 3.30 in the morning. Okay. No? So, but forget it. Now, it's a very fast lifestyle. You know, it's difficult. Yeah. But you can do so many things. Mm. Yoga and meditation. Okay. By yoga and meditation. In your lifestyle, if you are adding, if you are adding yoga mm. and meditation, 
you can handle your organs you can make your organs strong okay you can give positive information to your organs mm -hmm. and make it stronger and stronger mm -hmm. then there are lots of exercise you can do eat proper food proper food i have explained in last also what is proper food yeah. your your food should be very proper mm -hmm. and yoga and meditation is compulsory very compulsory in this kind of world what is happening nowadays yeah you have to do yoga and meditation first yoga first yoga okay. after that meditation you mean by yoga hatha yoga yani exercise any yoga whatever see any yoga hmm. by which you can make your body flexible hmm. and you really you should sweat there should be sweating okay see hatha yoga is very strong everyone uh, is difficult hmm. after certain age many people can't do hatha yoga hmm. but there are some simple simple yoga like pranayam mm. pranayam is also good yeah pranayam is very simple and very easy you mm. can do any time anywhere okay mm. only you should be 1 hour to 2 hour empty stomach mm. Mm -hmm. and you can do pranayam okay do little stretching exercise mm. means you should get little tired mm. and then go for meditation your meditation will improve a lot such a lifestyle and diet if they cannot prevent uh, di diabetes cannot uh, they can uh, cure or at least treat it handle it that's what i'm saying diabetes has types mm. it depends on the type mm. in my if you ask me how many of your diabetic patient have been cured completely mm. the numbers are on my fingers oh. you know in my 25 years i will say 10 or 15 people are completely cured oh, but i have seen thousands of patients yes thousands of patients mm. they have not been cured mm. they have been in treatment but my patient they don't have any complication okay see mm. in diabetes people 110% mostly mm. they get complication mm. the kidney gets affected the eyes get affected yes. they get sexual problems Hmm. they they get all this problem hmm. but at least i have prevented all these problems okay. okay so that is more than enough if you can prevent all the problems that's one question here uh, when you treat uh, diabetes it is only by ayurvedic uh, medicine medications or with allopathic no, no, listen i don't prescribe allopathic medicines uh, 99.9% Mm. only 1% when it's an emergency mm. i prescribe allopathic medicines mm. in emergency so it, it's a medicine you don't use allopathic medicine i very rarely very rarely very rarely okay like if it is like if, if the patient like suppose i tell one patient you do exercise you do proper diet and you take ayurvedic medicine he says i can't do exercise i can't do proper diet mm. my lifestyle is some completely bad uh, i can't sleep at night because my work is at night you know mm. so that time i don't have any choice mm. that time i have to sometimes i have to give them some allopathic medicine if needed but if he can follow if he can follow hmm. proper diet and lifestyle and proper ayurvedic medicine and never use uh, allopathic medicine okay see now that doctor what i was talking about my friend he got diabetes hmm. so he came to me and told i got diabetes and that was 580 okay it's post lunch means after food his sugar level was 580 it's too much yeah and uh, Uh, fasting sugar was 310 i have all his reports mm. so he came to me he told uh, guru i got diabetes now what to do mm. i just asked him simple question mm. can you do diet and exercise he told yeah 100% i will do mm. then you don't need any medication i only gave few pills of ayurvedic mm. and uh, evening 8 o'clock he is come to gymnasium where he do does all sorts of exercise and morning anyhow he was walking every day 6 mm. o'clock mm. his sugar came 143 after one month okay mm. so if you follow diet and lifestyle your sugar will come down and Dr. if you Dr. don't follow 
then only you have to take allopathic medicines. About diabetes, one main question, why India had the big store worldly, in worldly statistics in diabetes, according to you? Why? See, see India is a growing country. Mm. Everyone is running. Mm. You have seen in India? Yes. Yeah. Everyone in India is running, okay. running mm. uh, for career, making money, okay. uh, education, too much education. Like if you see education stress, yes. The, like my son, he is in 12th standard. Yeah. He studies for 18 hours. Oof. 18 hours he is on laptop. You can understand 12th standard. He's just in 12th standard. He is not in medical school. He is not engineering school. Mm. Mm. Nothing. 18 hours he's sitting on the chair and on laptop. Mm. Now, what do you expect? What do you expect? Mm. So this is happening in India. Okay. And fast running, running behind everything. Now India are asking me, has Dr. Dubi. Yeah. <laughs> With your treatment and Ayurvedic treatment in general, we can avoid use of insulin for diabetes? 110%. You can avoid insulin. Uh -huh. If you follow certain protocols of Ayurveda, you can 110% mm -hmm. within three to six months. I, in my clinical practice, mm -hmm. most of my patients, the insulin has been stopped. Mm -hmm. Three to six months. But you have to properly follow lifestyle and diet. Of, uh, for all types of... Any, only, only juvenile diabetes. Hmm. Remember one thing. Okay. Only juvenile diabetes. Hmm. In that case, you can only reduce the dose of insulin. Hmm. But can't stop insulin. Because the production of insulin is not there in juvenile diabetes. Juvenile, you mean which type? Juvenile. Uh, juvenile is the juvenile is the kids, small okay. children at the age of three, at the age of four, mm. at the age of five, mm. eight, ten. They get diabetes. Mm. That's called juvenile diabetes. Mm. In that kind, their insulin production is not there, so they need insulin mm. injections. But mm. other you know, uh, you can 110% if you properly follow diet and lifestyle, you can stop insulin, which I have done in my clinic. So uh, that I am pretty much sure. Let us talk about your experience of treating diabetes. Uh, from 25 years, which kind of result you get? You, you, you got? See, that's what I'm saying. In diabetes, you get very good result. Uh, for example, I myself I am diabetic. Yeah. At the age of you didn't 32. Treat you treat yourself? Yeah, I'm treating myself. So I'm here. My eyes are good. My hands are good. I have all, I don't have any problem. Mm. So at the age of 32, I got diabetes. At the age of 32. 32. And uh, still I'm there in front of you. Mm. So I'm treating myself with herbal supplements, mm. diet and exercise. Mm. Exercise is very important. And certain herbal supplements are there. If you take regularly, mm -hmm. you can handle your diabetes very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. Okay. There is no problem at all. And many of my patients have stopped allopathic medicines. Mm -hmm. Many of them have stopped allopathic medicine. Mm -hmm. See, Louis, one thing you understand. Mm -hmm. Allopathic medicine, if you, like, if you just started diabetes, mm -hmm. and if you take proper diet, and proper exercise, you don't need to take allopathic medicine. Okay. Only if you are not doing proper diet and lifestyle, then only you have to take allopathic medicines. This I have seen practically. Okay. Uh, one, one last question about diabetes. Uh, many, they said, when you are diabetic, you have more chance to get cancer. Is it true? Not at all. Only not at all. It's a very wrong myth, I will say. Mm. Uh, see, I have gone through so many diabetes patients. So many diabetes patients. Now, I can't give the numbers. So many diabetes patients. Okay. Very rarely, very rarely, they got cancer. Mm. Very rarely. 
Is it due Diabetes. to side effects of some uh, of diabetics, uh, diabetes uh, medicines? It can See, be uh, diabetes medicine. I don't know like that it gives you cancer. Mm. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. diabetes medicine. They give other side effects. First of all, diabetes medicine doesn't allow you to get rid of diabetes. You are booked oh. as you get license. Oh. Once you start diabetes medicines, allopathic medicines, okay. you can't stop it. You are booked for lifelong oh. because these medicines. Mm. stops the production of beta langren cells mm -hmm. it stops it so mm -hmm. you become used to diabetes medicines mm -hmm. and after a certain time this medicine doesn't works so you go high power medicines yes. after that that high power medicine doesn't works then you go on insulin mm -hmm. see this is a big scam by pharma company they don't want you to get rid of the disease diabetes yes. it's a big business yes. it's a big business Mm. Now, you will not believe, Louis, mm. World Health Organization, the parameter for diabetes patient, like fasting sugar, is 150 mg. Yes. 150, the normal yeah, ratio one, is 150. Yeah. In India, it's 100. Oh. Oh. Now, if you get 110 or 120, yes. people tell, the doctors tell, you are diabetic. You start yeah. taking diabetes medicine. Yeah. So unnecessary, these people take these medicines and they are hooked to this disease. Yeah. So this is a big scam. Honestly, I believe diabetes is not disease at all. It's a metabolic problem. Mm -hmm. Your, if your metabolism is not good, you get this problem. Mm -hmm. So you have to improve your metabolism. Mm -hmm. Just improve your metabolism. Mm -hmm. Now, in Ayurveda, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Metabolism is Agni. Agni is fire. Mm -hmm. Another name for Agni is fire. Mm -hmm. If your fire is good, that means your digestive fire is good. Mm -hmm. So, the collection of mucus or arm or toxin. Yeah. Say, I'm giving you three words. Mm -hmm. Mucus, mm -hmm. arm and toxins. Mm -hmm. If your digestive fire is weak, this mucus travels mm. in the pancreas okay. and it's covered covered the pancreas. Mm. So your pancreas gets disturbed. Okay. So the production of insulin gets disturbed and you get diabetes. Okay. So, see, if you, you, you have seen maybe some people who are in depression, yeah. either they eat too much or they don't eat. Yes. Either they eat too much yes. and they put on weight, they okay. become fat. Mm. Or they don't eat at all and they become skinny. They lose yeah. weight. Hmm. So what happens in that case? That digestive fire gets disturbed. Yeah. Agni gets disturbed. Hmm. Now, after depression, they get other problems also. They get some people, they get thyroid. Some people, they get uh, diabetes. Yeah. Uh, numbers of diseases they get. Some people, they get skin problems. Hmm. So their metabolism gets disturbed. Okay. So you have to improve the matter in diabetes. Mm. If your doctor or physician is good, mm. he will just take care of your digestion. Okay. It's very important. Mm. So what is the real source of your digestion is liver. Liver? Liver is liver. Yes. Liver, liver is a source of your digestion. It's an engine. Mm. It's an engine of your body. Mm. So, if your engine is good, many physicians, what they do, they just give you diabetes medicines. Yeah. Just they give diabetes medicine. It may be Ayurvedic or allopathic or homeopathy. Mm. But they don't give you liver medicine. Mm. In this case, if you start to give these patients liver medicine, mm. their levels or sugar level will come down. Okay. Mm. Uh, so always remember, this kind of diabetes patient improve their digestion by giving liver medicine. Mm. And if you see many uh, diabetes patients, they have constipation. Yes. Uh, That's a big problem. It is constipation. Liver problem in liver problems or no diabetes patient. Yeah. No, yeah in diabetes. Yes. If your diabetes becomes chronic. Yes. If it becomes old, mm. they get constipation. Mm. 
the bowel movement is not good hmm. that's the biggest problem nowadays diabetes patients are facing hmm. so what happens their digestive system get disturbed okay so you have to improve your digestive system hmm. so always give this kind of patient liver medication with whatever diabetes medicines you are giving mm -hmm. let us talk a little bit uh, dr dubi about your own also specialization cancer is there uh -huh. diet is there some diet in ayurveda to prevent cancer how much you think it will be efficient see uh, remember one thing luis the another word for cancer is acid as acid the acid the yeah. world has recognized it cancer everyone has some or other type of cancer cell in their body mm. the only thing is that your immune system is good yes. this cell has been uh, what do you say down. Uh, it's down it's down. down down as soon as as soon as your immune system gets poor this cells starts to multiply okay this cells starts to multiply mm. so the another word for cancer is negativity negative thinking negative thoughts yeah another word for cancer is acid mm -hmm. so acid what's your acid, acid level you should always understand your acid level should be always controlled okay your acid level is should be always controlled mm -hmm. you take example uh if you have acid yes. acid like hydrochloric acid yes hydrochloric acid mm. and if you put on a plastic yeah if, what happens to the plastic it yes. becomes hard round yes, yes. Mm. same thing happens in cancer mm -hmm. if your acid level or some other reason it increases mm. any part of your body there is a collection and which collection is multiplying yeah what is cancer is multiple of cell mm. we can't control the multiple of cell mm. like suppose you get throat cancer the cells get multiplied and your throat gets choked yeah you you can't swallow food water anything because the cell has covered it yeah you know mm. so this is very important thing mm. so diet and lifestyle always helps you to prevent cancer okay how you which should, kind of diet to prevent cancer? yeah that's what i'm saying you have to increase your immune system mm. means you should have lots of fruits mm. in your diet lots of veggies vegetables mm. green vegetables yes green vegetable vegetable juice mm. vegetable juice okay green vegetable juice mm. you should have in your diet lots of fruits mm. lots of fruits in lebanon uh, people are used to uh, taking olive oil yes olive oil is the best mm -hmm. olive oil is good for your liver olive oil is good for your cancer uh -huh. yeah green juice and relax yes meditation yoga of course you should do in your lifestyle mm. but green vegetables and fruits always you should have in your diet mm -hmm. and you should change your thoughts negativity if you have acid problem mm. control your acid first mm. control your acid mm. now i will give you simple home remedy yes which you can translate in your language okay. coriander cumin uh -huh. fennel seed mm. coriander cumin. cumin fennel seed fennel seed yes equal quantity equal equal quantity make a powder of it mm. put it in a water mm. and drink four times a day okay like one teaspoon in one glass of water drink it mm -hmm. four times a day this will help to uh, make your body alkaline okay so this is very important fennel veggies coriander cumin cumin fennel equal quality quantity equal quantity okay 
make a powder we mix it in a water uh, boiling powder uh, boiling water or no no need to boil no need to boil mm. just put it in a water and drink it okay 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 so this will make your body alkaline if your body is alkaline uh, you will not get acid if you are not getting acid you will not get cancer mm -hmm. mm. this is a simple thing vegetables are alkaline fruits are alkaline this, only uh, and their cumin we should soak it or only put it on water? No, soak it in the water and drink it okay direct on the spot yeah you don't need to soak it overnight mm. if you want to do you can do it mm. otherwise you can simply mix it in the water and drink it mm. so this will help you to re reduce your acid level okay then there are lot of things which helps you to increase immune system mm -hmm. Mm. you need to increase your immune system okay every day every day you have to take quarter teaspoon of turmeric 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 yes yes turmeric in water mix it in a water in the morning Curc quarter teaspoon curcuma one foot yeah turmeric yeah mix it in a water and drink it in the morning mm -hmm. Mm. This is high antioxidant, antibacterial, mm. and anti-inflammatory. Okay. This doesn't allow cancer mm. to grow in your body. Mm -hmm. So these are two very important things. And there are many, mm -hmm. Luis. There are so many things which you can do. Okay. In medicines, mm. uh, giloy. Mm. Yeah, you. Giloy. About last time I told uh, that's that's good for immune system. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you need to improve your immune system. Uh, do you suggest some fast uh, diet, uh, fasting for prevention of cancer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Once a week, once a week, you should do fasting. Which routine of cast? Only on water. Only on water. Mm -hmm. Warm water. Warm water. Or leak only roots, uh, not for uh, see no listen 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 if you are healthy like if you are above 80 kgs yes above 80 kg mm. you do once a week fasting with warm water okay. complete warm water mm. if you are below 60 kg mm. below 60 kg do fasting with only fruits you mean fruits or juice of fruits no you Always it's better to have fruits. Eating fruit is much better than juice. Mm. Mm. Eating fruits are much better than drinking juice. Mm. Uh, if you don't have teeth, you can yeah. drink juice. No yeah. problem. Okay. <laughs> no problem with that. <laughs> but remember one thing. Above 80 kg, just yeah. warm water. Just warm water. But how, Below how 60 long kg. Past? How long? See, once a month is enough. Mm. Once a month, no problem. Yeah, I mean, it should be uh, 30, for, for example, 36 hours or less, 24 hours, how, how long? 24, 24 hours is more than enough. Uh -huh. 24 hours is more than enough. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, you think it, it will be efficient to prevent cancer, this kind of... Uh, of course, 110%. 110 percent you can prevent cancer mm -hmm. uh, dr dubi what are the reasons of cancer according to ayurveda see according to ayurveda it, it, the cancer it's called arbud mm -hmm. cancer in ayurveda it's called arbud it's, it's a growth yeah it's a growth mm -hmm. so it's again in Ayurveda. I told you these are only two reasons: your diet and lifestyle. Mm. Your diet and lifestyle. Okay. Then there are lots of bad habits, mm -hmm. like uh, chewing tobacco, smoking cigarette, drinking alcohol, okay. uh, not sleeping well, mm. shouting too much. Shouting <laughs> is also another reason, you know. Yeah. Uh, your vocal cord gets affected. Mm. Mm. Your cord gets affected. So shouting too much is, it looks very simple, but it's dangerous. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like I have seen lots of good orator, means mm. the speakers, they get yeah. throat cancer. Yeah. They have got throat cancer mm -hmm. because they have not taken, they, they are just speaking, but they are not taking care of themselves. 
Okay. At least once a month, uh, they should not talk at all. Mm -hmm. We call it mon breath. It's a fasting, not talking. Yeah, mon. Not, yeah, mon. You mon. should not talk at all. So there are so many reasons mm. uh, of uh, getting cancer. Mm. In Ayurveda, they have called cancer as kark rog. Kark rog. Yeah. Kark means crab. Mm. You know crab? Yes. You know, water, you know. Uh, so, if you see, if you put crab somewhere, it climbs the wall. Yeah, yeah. You, you just put their leg down, again goes up. Okay. So, the cancer, they are called karkaru. Yeah, in Arabic, As much you, also, it is uh, this kind of... Uh, yeah. So, this is... So, it's very important you at the first stage only you try to handle it mm. by your diet and lifestyle mm. so important thing is turmeric turmeric is very good source yeah very good source okay. another is olive oil okay another very important thing is tulsi tulsi yeah Haba. tulsi is very good thing mm -hmm. third is neem 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 okay. neem Zizla. neem has very yeah Neem has very good cancer, anti-cancerous property. Oil or neem, which kind? Uh, if you get pure neem oil, two drops of neem oil is enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get neem oil, you get fresh neem leaves. Yes. So 10 to 12 neem leaves just chew every day in the morning. Okay. It's very good uh, to avoid cancer. Okay. Then uh, this you can do as a prevention and precaution. Mm. Then in Ayurveda, there are certain herbs. In Ayurveda, they use diamond ash. Diamond ash. Yeah, diamond ash. Remade. Diamond ash to treat cancer. Okay. And we have got very good result. Mm -hmm. I will give you one example. In my clinic, one patient came from uh, Gujarat. Yes. And uh, uh, he was a smoker. Okay. So he got lung cancer. Mm -hmm. In the lungs, he was having a tumor in the lungs. Okay. Mm. So he he has half investigation done. Mm. He came to our clinic. So uh, we gave him all the medicine made from diamond ash and diet and lifestyle. Mm. And uh, asked him to be oncologist. We asked him, just consult oncologist. Mm. Let's see what he is saying. Okay. So he went, uh, there is one hospital in Mira Road. It's an ISKCON hospital. Okay. Hare Rama, Hare Krishna hospital. Yeah. So very good oncologist was there. Mm. He met him. The oncologist told, you need to get operated after two months. Okay. And he asked him to give all the investigation. Mm. You remove this blood test. Mm. this uh, sonography, this okay. CT scan, mm. and it will take a time. Mm. So he was taking our medicines, Ayurvedic medicine, and he was doing this turmeric, neem, mm. tulsi, and medicines. Mm -hmm. So he went after two months to the same doctor. Okay. So after two months, the doctor asked him to remove another investigation, okay. another report, mm. what has happened. Mm. He checked his reports, mm. the, the tumor was gone. Oh. Tumor was gone. So it was localized tumor. So remember one thing, Louis. In cancer, there are two things. One is localized tumor. Okay. The tumor is at one place. Yes. Another is metastasis. Yeah. Once your cancer has spread. Of course. Yes. Yes. The difficulty is metastasis. Yes. Once the cancer spreads, mm. it becomes difficult. Okay. But if it is localized, if it is at one place, mm. you can treat it. Okay. Many patients uh, in my clinic, they are like I have breast cancer, mm. you know, breast cancer mm. and they have been operated. The breast has been completely removed and doctor said, now you're free. You don't have any problem. Okay. But in reality, the cancer cells are there in their body. Okay. Only thing is that temporary because of operation and chemotherapy mm. and radiation, it was suppressed. It was not gone. Yeah. But the patient feels now I am completely all right. Okay. But after a few years, mm. they again get 
breast cancer mm. Mm. the only problem is that they have not taken care if this patient have taken turmeric yani on diet you mean on yeah diet and lifestyle if they have done simple simple diet mm. simple diet like that taking turmeric yeah like taking turmeric in the morning okay one te- quarter teaspoon turmeric in the morning mm. neem leaves mm. giloi okay you know having fruits and veggies mm. doing little yoga they would have never gone back to the cancer okay never because the immune system mm. is on the higher side mm. but these people they completely forget okay mm. so okay. and if you see uh, nowadays for cancer also they are telling it's not true mm. they some people they don't believe there is cancer okay mm. some people they don't believe at all that so there is a cancer there is cancer why don't, yeah they say because there is no treatment okay there is no treatment in reality there is no treatment mm. so they don't believe it mm. and they just focus on their diet i have seen so many people they have focus on their diet and their cancer has been suppressed and they are living happy and healthy okay a doctor do what we... happens if you get afraid of cancer if you get afraid of cancer yes the cancer i told you it's like a crab it covers you mm. but if you are not afraid of cancer if you are not afraid of cancer you will live 100 years without any problem okay fear is a big danger for cancer so first get rid of the fear mm. Mm. Uh, dr dubey how to improve alkaline by lifestyle according to you and I... very good very good first of all the home remedy i just suggested yeah that coriander cumin fennel seed every day you should use in your diet try to avoid spicy food spicy and deep fried spicy and deep fried deep fried oily yes oily oily you avoid try to avoid those kind of food then fast food okay fast food like burger pizza and all those stuff mm. try to avoid all those things and when you are eating food you just relax don't watch television don't see your mobile don't okay. sit on laptop and eat food when you are eating food just concentrate on your food mm-hmm. yeah eat slowly eat slowly don't eat fast mm. relax and eat mm. just relax and eat okay try to avoid opposite food try to avoid opposite food like for what? example fruits and milk yes fruits and milk mm. non vegetarian food and milk okay try to avoid keep a distance keep mm. distance in the, many people i have seen they eat fish uh, chicken and they eat ice cream mm. yes. it's wrong it's completely wrong mm. if you want to eat ice cream eat after 2 to 3 hours okay even with your regular meal whatever food you are eating vegetarian food also mm. don't eat ice cream don't eat uh, or drink fruit juice okay. immediately mm. drink after 2 to 3 hours mm. okay. and after food after eating food don't drink cold water yeah don't drink cold water mm. eat if you want to drink water eat drink warm water warm water Okay. After half an hour, an hour, don't drink coke. Like I was in US, I have seen that they are eating burger and they are having coke. Yeah. Coke. You can imagine what will happen. Now your digestive fire is a fire. It's a real fire. Yes. You are drinking ice cold coke and eating burger. Yes. So what happens? Your fire gets diminished. Yeah. It gets extinguished, mm. and then you are eating burger. Mm. so what happens you put on weight yeah if you That's see okay. uh, african american american african they are so heavy mm. yeah yeah so heavy you have seen this is because of this kind of lifestyle they extinguish their fire and then they eat burger now yeah. what has happened in us insurance company mm. has stopped giving insurance to fat people yeah uh, mm. they have stopped it mm. they say it's not our problem it's not disease it's your mistake 
Hmm. It's your wrong lifestyle and diet. We are not going to pay for your bills. Okay. Simple. So this is what is happening. So eating properly is very important. We don't know how to eat first of all and chew your food. Okay. We just eat fast, fast, fast. Just eat food and chew it slowly. Okay. So what happens? Whatever the food you are eating, it gets chewed inside your mouth. The juice goes inside. It becomes easy for your digestive system. Okay. Now I will give you one simple example. One lady from my village mm. in Varanasi, she, she came to my clinic. Mm. She was having pain mm. in her abdomen. Mm -hmm. So because of, of the pain, she used to get take painkillers, okay. pain medicine, and she, mm. the pain used to subside. Mm. Now this thing happened for two to three years. Okay. So she came to our clinic. Mm. And she told, I am having pain and this, that. And I found she was having severe acidity. Severe acidity. And because of the acidity, she was having pain in her abdomen, in her stomach. We did some investigation. And her pulse was uh, showing three dosh. Means all the three doshas were yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah. So we did her some investigation and found out she was having gallbladder cancer. Oh gallbladder cancer and she was not knowing hmm. now what has happened the gallbladder has increased in the size hmm. and it overlapped mm -hmm. her stomach hmm. now if you ask me from where it started it started from acidity uh, okay now you can imagine we take acidity in very simple hmm. yeah. we think acidity is very simple problem not at all a simple problem. It's a very dangerous problem. Okay. The people who are suffering from abdominal cancer, mm -hmm. if you take their history, is due to acidity. So you should always handle your acidity. So the normal remedy, what I have given, mm -hmm. is very useful. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Don't skip your meals. Eat your food in proper time and stay proper sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleep well. Okay. And drink plenty of water, so you will avoid acidity. Dr. Duby, our third and last topic, it is about heart diseases. Uh -huh. There are a lot of types of heart diseases. What mm -hmm. are the main reasons of it, according to you? Again, I told you, main reason is your lifestyle and diet. I told you the agni, mm. digestive fire. If your digestive fire is not proper, what will happen? Undigested material, undigested material will travel upwards. Mm -hmm. So what is undigested material is cholesterol. What yeah. is undigested material? Triglycerides. Mm. Okay. These are undigested material. Mm. So what happens? This forms clog in your arteries. Mm. This undigested material from clog. Yeah. It, it gets collected mm. and your blood circulation get disturbed. Yeah. Okay. Your blood circulation get disturbed. Mm. So you get different different kinds of heart diseases. Okay. If you see the definition mm. of uh, the cholesterol and triglyceride, is it's a byproduct of poor digestion. Cholesterol and triglycerides is nothing but a byproduct of poor digestion. So again, again, you should improve your agni, means your digestive fire. Okay. Now, very important, once you get this clog, how to get rid of this clog in your artery? Okay. Wow. Now, in this case, in this case, you have to eat certain things which increase your agony, like ginger. Yes. Apple cider vinegar. Mm. I'm giving you one more name. Ginger, apple cider vinegar, mm. lemon juice, lemon. and honey. Honey. Mm. These four things if you make a combination properly mm. and every day in the morning if you drink it mm. every day in the morning if you drink it in two teaspoon quantities? you can take equal quantity no problem mm -hmm. but freshly if you prepare fresh mm. like ginger juice half teaspoon mm. apple cider vinegar half teaspoon mm. honey half teaspoon mm. yeah and what i said uh, honey ginger 
honey, apple cider lemon. vinegar, uh, lemon juice. Yes. And you can add garlic also. Garlic. Uh. Garlic. Okay. If this five things, hmm. believe me, Luis, if this five things, if you take early in the morning hmm. in equal quantity, hmm. you will get rid of any blockages are there in your heart. Any blockages. Uh -huh. This is my practical, practical experience. Okay. Okay. I have, and you need little walking. Can you write uh, after a two, this two recipes? Yeah, I, I, will, I, will, I will. I will. I have. I will send you the picture okay. of the medicine also yeah. and the uh, contents also yeah. so and the proportion also. Translate it and diffuse it. It's very beautiful remedy. Very beautiful remedy. I have seen people who are supposed to get operated yeah. after a month, after ten days. Means I have seen people like in heart disease. What happens if you walk? You get breathlessness. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. So, so these things goes away. Hmm. Then there is one uh, herbs, Ayurvedic herbs. Its name is Arjun. Yeah. Arjun. Hmm. Arjun two two tablets twice a day. If you take every day, that also helps to make your heart stronger. Arjun, you should send to me the photo of this. Uh... Yeah, I will send you uh, Arjun. You can online also, you can check Arjun tablets. Okay. You get okay. Arjun tablet, you get Arjun powder. So Arjun is very good to improve the function of your heart. Okay. But the bottom line is your digestion again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you think uh, this uh, preventions are enough to to, to avoid such a... See, heart disease, honestly, believe me, heart disease is very easy to prevent. Heart disease, in reality, you can prevent. Mm. If you improve your digestion, first of all, improve your digestion, mm -hmm. little exercise, mm -hmm. little yoga. Yes. Of course, stress and all those things you should avoid. Mm -hmm. And proper diet. Avoid oily, spicy and fermented. Oily, spicy and fermented okay see late hours night the people who uh, sleeping late at night mm. they work very hard like there are few doctors i have seen few doctors mm. they have died due to heart disease mm. because they're busy at day and they're busy at night also okay yeah so they don't get proper sleep Mm. So what happens in their body? Toxin increases. What is toxins? Cholesterol and triglycerides. Okay. The triglycerides level increases mm. and it bursts their heart. They get burst. It's like a bomb explosion. Mm. And they die. And if you see the reason, is their wrong lifestyle. Okay. Doctors, I'm talking young doctors, they have died due to heart disease. Mm. And of course, there are so many reasons your heart has been broken, mm. uh, XYZ reason, you know? Yeah, emotionally. Your girlfriend has left, your wife has left, mm. you get divorced, your son has left. There's so many reasons, you know? Mm. So these are also the reason, but these reasons everyone knows. Yeah. But uh, what you can, according to Ayurveda, digestive fire again plays a very important role. Okay. Our last yeah. question, Dr. Duby, what about BP, blood pressure and cholesterol especially? Same thing, what I told you, no. cholesterol is a byproduct of poor digestion. Okay. So there are several home remedies. Mm -hmm. I will give you one good home remedy yeah. for cholesterol and triglyceride. Okay. Black tea. Black tea. Black, black tea. Yeah. Black tea. Uh, add little cinnamon powder in that. Little cinnamon powder, yeah. black tea, add little cinnamon powder, bring it down and add one teaspoon honey. Honey. And then drink it sip by sip. Mm. Mm. This is one very good remedy for cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Now, another very good remedy, you know, turmeric. Yeah. One pinch of turmeric. Just put below your tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One pinch of turmeric, mm -hmm. put below your tongue mm -hmm. and go for walking. Mm -hmm. okay. Just go for walking. 
if you go for morning walk or evening walk hmm. just one pinch turmeric put below your tongue and go for walking you and let the juice let the juice of the turmeric go inside your body okay. slowly hmm. Hmm. like you know in india you must have seen people they eat chew tobacco yeah the tobacco they put here yes yes same yes. way same way keep turmeric hmm. you know and just go walking mm mm-hmm. 1 km 2 km go for walking after 15 days if you check your cholesterol it will come down just by this okay just by this and the, the tea mm-hmm. cinnamon tea okay okay this is tried and tested experiment or you can say home oh, remedy which i have done for blood pressure yes see for blood pressure very important thing again see blood pressure is also different different kind hmm your sleep is very important mm. very important is your sleep mm-hmm. stress you should get rid of stress yoga meditation okay yoga meditation you know this uh, in india we called lauki lauki or duddhi mm. you know green green vegetable yes. big yeah yeah mm. big one Mm-hmm. i will send you the name okay if you drink the juice of it in i'm uh, telling in hindi it's called duddhi mm. it's called duddhi okay uh, they in uh, english they called it as some god uh, g o u d mm. green big thing mm. you know uh, it, it's it's a white in inside and above it's green mm. it's a big big uh, vegetable mm. that juice mm. half half a cup of juice mm. if you drink in the morning it helps to reduce your blood pressure mm-hmm. and another important thing applying ghee on your temples okay yes yes cow's ghee yeah. so apply on your temples every day mm-hmm. and drink plenty of water plenty of water okay. drinking water helps you to reduce your pressure mm-hmm. and avoid uh, salt oh, yeah okay. try to avoid salt as much as possible okay okay so these things helps you to reduce your blood pressure turmeric we take it alone or we should uh, add to it uh, pepper. pepper or uh, black pepper, pepper. Black for pepper. where where for uh, this one uh, cholesterol no, uh, in general no turmeric this is a home remedy hmm. see for cholesterol just put plain turmeric in your uh, below your tongue and just go for walking okay. if you are drinking for cancer half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon of turmeric in a glass of water drink in the morning okay the food what you are using <coughs> vegetables hmm. you can spread black pepper in that that will help you to increase your agni okay and improve your diet whatever food you are eating hmm. try to add black pepper to it and whatever food you are cooking hmm. whatever food you are cooking add turmeric hmm. okay okay uh, dr okay. dharmendra uh, someone said yes namaste that that namaste uh, we, to to have the all benefit of turmeric we must add a little bit of black pepper what do you think about this no see black pepper has another use that's what i'm saying the home remedy for cancer and cholesterol you should use plain turmeric hmm. but in the food what your food you are cooking or after cooking in your salad in your vegetables you can add black pepper top of that it's very good for digestion if you see dominos pizza or uh, yeah. uh, mcdonalds they have turmeric sachets yes yeah. because they know this food are not easy to digest okay so they are giving you black pepper you can put digest. top of that and it will help you for digestion so it's a good thing to use black pepper in your food okay no Doctor, problem in that do be your last uh, suggestion today before leaving you what you have something ab- accord in general as a general uh, suggestion for Uh, see general suggestion just be happy <laughs> very important to be happy whatever god has given you 
hmm. be peaceful uh, don't be what you say you know uh, don't be jealous first of all don't be jealous right. just be happy whatever god has given you take it love it and then enjoy your life okay uh, you god has given you enough this body what he has given is more than enough uh, at least we are human beings hmm. so help each other and take care of each other okay. uh, that is more than enough uh, okay dr rubi you are talking not only as a vaidya and a, a doctor you are talking as a guru a spiritual uh... <laughs> so this is what i suggest to my patient because this is the root cause of all the diseases you know okay we are not happy the big problem is that we are not happy okay okay first of all the biggest problem we are not happy at all thanks so, thank you a lot for your presence and for all your suggestions thank you, thank you. and please send to me all i will send you i will send you i will send you tomorrow itself thanks namaskar okay. love you everyone god bless namaste, namaste. dr uh, jagvini Uh, yes. Okay. Avant que tu commences, je vais annoncer la donc la présence de Tenzin Palmo. Je vais l'annoncer en arabe. Okay. Ya surruna an nu'limakum anna musa'ad musa'idat qadasat ad-Dalai Lama ar-rahiba wa ra'is ad-dair ar-rahibat fi Salah. Hello. Tenzin Palmo Tenzin Palmo. كونوا معنا في مقابلة يوم الأربعاء ليت المقبل ولا الذي بعده أي في 14 أذار بالطبع سنرسل لكم تأكيدا بذلك والإعلان ولكن حبينا أن نعلمكم بذلك لأنه سيكون حدث مهم بالنسبة لنا وبالنسبة للبنان والعالم العربي ستتوجه إلى الجميع بنصائح وأكيد بتعاليم مهمة مفيدة للجميع سنرسل إليكم التفاصيل في القريب العاجل ونتمنى أن تعلموا الآخرين لأنها لأنه حدث استثنائي أن نصغي إلى معلمة من هذا النوع Voilà, donc j'étais en train de dire que euh, Tenzin Palmo, qui est une grande sage actuelle, va être avec nous dans une interview le mercredi 14, euh, 14 mars. Et bien sûr, on va envoyer ah oui. une confirmation et une annonce. Et on espère que chacun euh, distribue et diffuse autour de lui euh, cette Bonne nouvelle pour que euh, tout le monde peut, puisse en profiter euh, de cette présence assez dense et même cette divine présence parmi nous. Voilà, Dr. Jacqueline, la parole est à vous pour nous guider dans une méditation comme chaque fois. Très bien, donc on va continuer avec le rapport corps et sensation. Et, et donc, ça nous tabe euh... ma... علاقة الجسم والأحاسيس. voilà et donc on on va commencer par des assis par des images reliées au corps. وسنبدأ في وضعية الجلوس وبصور متعلقة ومرتبطة بالجسد. des images qui aident à avoir une bonne posture de méditation. إنها صورة التي تساعد كي نحصل على وضعية جيدة للتأمل. et allongé, on va travailler sur la méthode de Naropa. وعندما نتمدد سنعمل على طريقة ناروبا. dans son yoga du rêve, il donne des indications pour changer le rêve et le dissoudre dans la lumière. إذا في كتابه يوغا الحلم يعطي تعليمات عديدة كي لممارسة هذا التأمل وإزابة المشاكل في النور. 
Et c'est intéressant de voir qu'on retrouve ce genre de méthode dans certaines psychothérapies modernes. Donc, on va commencer par faire euh, suffisamment de homme. Ça aide à revenir au silence intérieur. Vous creusez bien les reins et vous détendez l'abdomen pour pouvoir faire un son grave et prolongé. Donc, on reprend rapidement les points principaux de la posture. À propos des jambes, pensez à mettre les jambes en fonction de la narine fermée. Donc, si le, si le, la narine, par exemple, droite est fermée, vous mettez le pied droit sur la cuisse gauche. Ça aide à rééquilibrer le haut du corps. D'habitude, le haut du dos, la nuque, ont tendance à pencher du côté de la narine fermée. Et et parce que tous les muscles sont plus tendus de ce côté. Ça 
sentir comme une spirale qui monte et qui permet de tourner légèrement la tête vers le côté de la narine ouverte. نشعر وكأن دائرة تصعد نحو لتساعد على فتح المنخار المقفل. Que ce soit quand il se s'abaisse ou s'étire, le tronc fait un mouvement de spirale. إذا الجزع عندما يتمدد أو عندما ينحني يقوم بحركة حلزونية. C'est très étudié maintenant. Il y a un nouveau mot pour ça. C'est ce qu'on appelle la tensegrité. هناك اسم جديد لها في العلم تنسيغريتي بالفرنسية. Oui, donc tensegrité, c'est formé de, ça a été fait par les Anglais et c'est formé de tension et intégrité. Zen هو من هذا الاسم من كلمتين تنسيون ضغط وانتجريتي يعني تكاملية. Donc comment l'intégrité du corps change en fonction des tensions? كيف يمكن تكاملية الجسد تختلف تتغير مع الضغوط؟ Et donc ce qu'on a trouvé c'est que les mouvements de spirale soit quand on s'affaissait soit quand on se redressait étaient très importants. وما وجدوه اكتشفوه ان حركات الحلزونيه ان عند التمدد او عند الانحناء مهمه جدا في هذا الصدد. Et si on choisit comme on a fait le bon sens de croisement des jambes le mouvement de spirale va dans le bon sens et aide notre méditation. Then, wa iza ikhtarna al wad'iya al jayida lil afghaz lil fakhzain fa hadha min sha'nihi an yusa'ida hadha al ta'ammul. Et donc de façon analogique, on peut rapprocher ça du mouvement de spirale des de l'ADN. يمكن ايضا ان نقرب ذلك من حركات الحركه الحلزونيه على مستوى الادي ان في ان في في الخلايا اي سي بلس كو انالوجي سي لا لورغانيزاسيون لا ماتير ام سو فير ان سبيرال هي ليست مجرد تشبيه ولكن تنظيم الماده يحب يهو أن يكون في هذه الحركة الحلزونية. وهذا مهم لأننا نجده أيضا في الدي إن. 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 وهذا مهم لأننا نجده أيضا qui montre les points communs entre le microcosme et le macrocosme. Il y a beaucoup d'études Quand, oui. Oui. Quand vous vous redressez en sentant ce mouvement de spirale, vous vous sentez équilibré comme une galaxie. Et Une galaxie qui garde sa même forme pendant des millions d'années. هذه المجرة التي تحتفظ بشكلها بشكلها دائما خلال ملايين السنين. En yoga donc en méditatif on sent une spirale montante. وفي اليوغا نشعر بهذه الحركة الحلزونية الصاعدة. dont le rayon devient de plus en plus petit. قد قطعها et qui devient un point quand elle arrive au centre du front. 
ويصير مجرد نقطة عندما يصل إلى مركز الجبين. Donc on sent le point de conscience, le point de lumière. نشعر بنقطة الوعي نقطة النور. Aspirer vers le haut comme une feuille morte est prise dans un tourbillon de vent ascendant. يتجه نحو الأعلى مثل ورقة تؤخذ بتشفط شفطا إلى أعلى. L'avantage de ce tourbillon, c'est que ça nous fait perdre le sens de l'équilibre. Ça nous donne le tournis, le vertige. يعطي يسبب نوع من الدوار من الدوخة. Et donc quand on s'abandonne à cette sensation, on va au-delà du corps. وعندما نستسلم لهذا الإحساس، فنذهب إلى ما هو أبعد من الجسد. Et c'est ce qu'on cherche en méditation profonde. وهذا ما نبحث عنه في التأمل العميق. N'hésitez pas à suivre légèrement du regard la rotation spirale de ce point de conscience ascendant. La tataraddadu fi an tattabi'u hadhi l'haraka l'halzuniya al-sa'ida bi nazarikum al-dakhili. Vous pouvez par exemple monter sur l'inspiration jusqu'au troisième œil et expirer par le troisième œil. Masalan, un tasadu ma'a al-shahiq nahwa al-ayn al-salisa. Maintenant, une image très importante pour la stabilité de la posture de méditation, c'est le sapin. Alors, 
finalement, le tronc et les branches du sapin, ça représente les nerfs et la moelle épinière. Mais dans le, notre visualisation, on imagine la sève qui monte non seulement à travers l'axe central de tronc, ولكن في تخيلنا لا نتخيل فقط النسغ أي هذا السائل الذي يغذي النبات عبر هذا الجسع. Mais aussi qui monte à travers les branches vers le sommet de du sapin. Là, c'est pas ce qui se passe dans la nature, mais on fait cette notre visualisation comme ça. نتخيل أن هذا النسغ يصعد عبر الأغصان للوصول إلى رأس الشجرة كما يصعد على في العمود الفقري. C'est comme la confluence de beaucoup de rivières dans un fleuve. مثل الأنهار العديدة التي تصب في نهر في نهر واحد المجاري تصب في نهر واحد. Sauf qu'ici le fleuve monte verticalement. لكن هنا هذا النهر يصعد عموديا نحو أعلى. et débouche dans l'espace au niveau du front comme dans un océan de lumière. ويصب في فضاء على مستوى الجبين كما لو كان في محيط من النور. Maintenant, on va rassembler encore plus l'énergie dans l'axe central. On visualise l'axe central comme la tige de la fleur. Et toutes nos pensées, nos impulsions, nos émotions, comme les pétales de la fleur. Et on imagine que la fleur a déjà commencé à se faner. Et tout d'un coup, on souffle tous les pétales et il ne reste plus que la tige. وعندها ننفخ في هذه التويجات تسقط ولا يبقى سوى رأس تاج الزهرة. On oublie donc toutes les tensions du corps et on n'a plus conscience que l'axe central. إذن ننسى كل ضغوطات الجسد ولا نعي سوى المحور المركزي. Une très bonne méditation, c'est de, de travailler sur les souvenirs du passé ou les soucis pour l'avenir qui remontent en nous sous forme d'image mentale. Par exemple, on part vers l'avant quand on est dans l'avidité pour toujours prendre plus contre soi, embrasser plus. Par exemple, 
ننحني نحو الأمام عندما نكون في حالة طمع كي نكسب المزيد. On part vers l'arrière pour quand on est dans la version. نرجع نحو الوراء عندما نكون في حالة نفور أو كراهية. On part vers l'avant quand on est dans la somnolence. نتجه ننحني إلى الأمام عندما نكون في حالة من النعاس. On part plutôt vers l'arrière quand on est dans l'agitation mentale. ونتجه إلى الوراء عندما نكون في حالة من الهيجان الفكري. Donc on accepte toutes les distractions qui passent par notre esprit. إذن نقبل بكل هذا التشتت والأفكار التي تخطر لنا في ذهننا. On cherche à savoir dans quelle direction elles font dévier notre corps, l'axe de notre corps. ونحاول أن نعرف في أي اتجاه يحرفون جسدنا يتجهون به. À ce moment-là, on se détend complètement. وعندها نرخي الجسد كليا. On creuse les reins, on remonte le dos. ونقعر الكلوتين ونصعد الظهر. Et on revient dans l'axe central qui est le présent. Un présent complètement sain euh, du point de vue psychologique et spirituel. Au-delà euh, de l'avidité de l'aversion. Au-delà de la somnolence et de l'agitation. Au-delà du plaisir et de la souffrance. Et finalement, au-delà de tous les contraires. وبالنهاية فيما هو أبعد من كل الثنائيات المتناقضة نشعر بهذه الطاقة التي تصعد في المحور المركزي بصورة عمودية en France, on a le lys qui est une fleur avec une tige très droite et qui s'épanouit euh, toute blanche en haut. Si vous n'avez pas le lys exactement au Liban, vous, vous avez d'autres fleurs certainement équivalentes. Euh, في ايضا لبنان مثل هذه الزهره زهره الزنبقه العموديه Quelque part, plus on est à l'intérieur, plus on est protégé. On est comme quelqu'un qui est sous les grosses couvertures l'hiver. S'il sort le bras la nuit, il aura froid. Donc, euh, instantanément, il, instinctivement aussi, il rentrera le bras sous la couverture. 
وغريزية سيعيد إدخال يده وزراعه تحت الغطاء. Du point de vue méditation du yoga, rentrer le bras sous la couverture, c'est ramener l'énergie dans l'axe central. ومن ناحية اليوغا والتأمل فإدخال اليد تحت الغطاء يعني أن نعود إلى المحور المركزي Maintenant, faites-vous allonger. Vous pouvez reprendre la position de l'empereur. Et vous laissez revenir une image de rêve euh, ou de cauchemar qui euh, vous a marqué. Par exemple, un groupe de grades d'agresseurs se jette sur vous et cherche à vous étouffer. Et donc, il y a deux niveaux de travail d'après Naropa, le sage tibétain, sur ces images de rêve ou de cauchemar. طريقتين للعمل على هذه الصور والكوابيس حسب نروباد المعلم التبتي. donc la première c'est de positiver le dénouement de la situation. الأولى هي أن ننظر بشكل بصورة إيجابية لتطور هذا الوضع. Et donc là, il faut ne pas hésiter à être créatif, avoir de l'imagination. Par exemple, vous soufflez sur les gens qui vous agressent comme sur les flammes d'une bougie d'un gâteau d'anniversaire, des bougies d'anniversaire. مثل ما تنفخ في شموع الجاتو الميلاد الميلاد. Et ils disparaissent tous. C'était juste une blague qu'on vous faisait pour votre anniversaire. ويختفون وكأنها كانت مجرد مسحة في إيد ميلادكم. Ou alors les agresseurs se transforment en mouches. أو يتحول هؤلاء المعنفين إلى زباب. Et vous faites un petit mouvement de la main et toutes les mouches s'envolent apeurées. وبحركة من يدكم يهرب يبتعد كل الزباب. Prenez le temps de sentir ce genre de transformation des agresseurs en flammes de bougies d'anniversaire 
تأخذون وقتكم كي تتخيلوا هذا التحول لهؤلاء المعنفين إلى ذباب أو إلى شموع أو ألسنة نار تذهب On peut même aller au-delà et prendre les devants par rapport à la peur. On sent dans cet état de rêve éveillé des situations impossibles dans la vie courante. Et on le fait en rêve, comme sauter d'une falaise dans un fleuve avec les eaux furieuses. Rentrer dans une maison en flammes. أو أن ندخل في بيت يحترق أو أن نتجاوز نعبر الحيطان أو أن نعبر غابة عذراء فيها الكثير من المخاطر دون أن نصاب بأي أذى s'élancer dans le ciel et voler sans jamais s'arrêter. Et on pourrait rajouter pour les Libanais, aller à la banque et tirer de l'argent tant qu'on en veut. Distributeur, من أي مكنة, من غير restriction, من غير تحديد. Donc, on sent ce qui nous angoisse et on inverse en positif grâce à l'imaginaire. Et justement, parce que c'est l'imaginaire, euh, on peut le faire. Napoléon Bonaparte disait impossible n'est pas français. Napoléon Mais on pourrait dire impossible n'existe pas dans l'imaginaire. ونستطيع بدورنا أن نقول أن المستحيل لا وجود له في الخيال نستطيع أن نتخيل كل المستحيلات Mais quand même quelque chose d'évident quand on dépasse des peurs faut pas nuire aux autres ولكن هناك أمر بديهي عندما نتجاوز مخاوفنا لا يجب أن نؤذي الآخرين. Bien sûr, assassiner le voisin nous fait peur, et c'est pas une peur qu'il faut dépasser. مثلاً أن نقتل جارنا هذا أمر مخيف، ولكن هذا ليس بخوف يجب تجاوزه. En visualisant qu'on l'assassine, bien sûr, ce serait. مجرد أن نتخيل أننا نقتله نقتله هذا. Maintenant, seconde phase de Naropa dissoute dans la lumière. الآن المرحلة الثانية من تأمل ناروباد النزوبة في ال 
Noor. Par exemple, si vous voyez un rocher dans votre rêve. Masalan, iza ra'aytum sakhratan fi hulumikum. Vous voyez l'intérieur du rocher comme tout en envahi de lumière. Tatakhayyaluna dakhil hazihi sakhra wa ka'annaha mali'a bin nour. Ensuite, l'extérieur tout envahi de lumière. Wa al-kharij aydan yamla'uhu nour. Ensuite, vous faites aller et venir à la conscience de l'intérieur à l'extérieur très vite. Et vous effacez les limites même du rocher, le dessin même du rocher. Et vous vous pouvez faire ça avec le corps des autres. Et encore plus important, le faire avec votre propre corps. Vous imaginez que vous êtes comme un vase qui est au fond d'un océan et l'eau est de l'océan, c'est de la lumière. تتخيلون وكأنكم قن زجاجة من الماء في قعر المحيط في الداخل والخارج نور. et votre vase c'est votre corps. وهذه الزجاجة هي جسدكم. l'eau qu'il y a à l'intérieur du à l'intérieur du vase est la même que l'eau qu'il y a à l'extérieur du vase. و الماء الذي هو في داخل هذه الزجاجة هو هو عينه الماء الذي في خارجها. C'est une expérience de non dualité. إنها اختبار لا إزدواجية. دافني de felicité. لا نهائي السلام التام. Maintenant, vous faites vous relever, on va faire le home final.
nous peut joindre les mains pour saluer le soi dans les autres et le soi en soi. Voilà. Donc, on a un stock de questions. Espérons qu'on puisse terminer au moins une bonne partie aujourd'hui. Oui, on peut faire 15 minutes environ. Moi, ça me va. Hein? Oui. OK. Oui. Donc, des anciennes questions. Vous avez cité un maître tibétain qui conseille d'utiliser la joie et le plaisir dans le sens du dharma. La question, un plaisir tel que le plaisir sexuel, par exemple, le plaisir de manger, ou de se venger. Comment ce genre de, de plaisir peuvent-ils être utilisés dans le sens du dharma Oui, donc là, oui, il faudrait peut-être euh, nuancer les, les paroles on pourrait dire utiliser la joie dans le sens du dharma. La différence qu'on pourrait faire entre plaisir et joie, c'est que le plaisir, c'est quelque chose de brut. La joie, c'est raffiné. Et quand on met son plaisir au-dessus de tout, on peut nuire aux autres. Et donc, alors que dans la joie, je dirais spirituelle, on ne nuit pas aux autres. Ça ne nuit pas aux autres de se reposer quand on est fatigué. De s'absorber dans la beauté d'une fleur. De goûter tranquillement et paisiblement un bon plat quand on a faim. Et donc, il euh, ne faut pas avoir euh, peur de goûter ces joies et on les relie au, au dharma. Notre être intérieur est comme un enfant, il a besoin de récompense. Des récompenses quand il fait des efforts pour étudier. Vous avez dit qu'en qu acupuncture, le côté extérieur de la cuisse est yang. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Vous 
Ça veut dire que quand on se concentre sur le côté extérieur de la cuisse, on redresse le dos et on se sent courageux. Zan, هذا يعني أنه عندما نركز على الجانب الأيسر الجانب الخارجي من الفخز نشد الظهر ونشعر بشجاعة. Alors que quand on sent le côté interne, on a tendance à se recroqueviller sur soi-même et à être plutôt pris par la peur. وفي حين أننا عندما نركز على الجانب الداخلي نتقوقع على ذاتنا ونميل إلى الشعور بالخوف. En français, on a une expression familière pour quelqu'un qui a très peur. Je ne sais pas si vous avez l'équivalent en arabe. Oui, c'est quoi? On dit que cette personne fait pipi dans sa culotte. <laughs> C'est bien le lien entre l'intérieur des cuisses donc et la peur. Et en massage tibétain, on fait souvent des applications d'huile chaude sur l'extérieur des cuisses. وفي المساج التبتي غالبا ما نقوم بمساج بزيت ساخن للفخذين ما يوقظ الشجاعة وكما يجب أن 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 خفيف فهذا يوقظ الشجاعة طيلة أيام عديدة بسبب هذا الإحساس. C'est comme la moxibustion en acupuncture, c'est-à-dire faire brûler légèrement les points d'acupuncture. Moxibustion. يعني إنها تماما مثل طريقة الحرق التي تستخدم في الوخز بالإبر. Très bien. Okay. Vous avez cité les écritures qui disent que la méditation nécessite l'équilibre. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire et comment faire pour développer l'équilibre? Estachatta al-kitabat al-muqaddas al-qaila al-ta'amul yahtaj ila al-tawazun. Ma za ya'ni zalika wa ma l'amal li tatwir al-tawazun. Donc, il y a le premier niveau général qui est la voie du juste milieu. Juste milieu dans l'alimentation, dans le sommeil, dans l'effort physique. Juste milieu dans les opinions, ne pas devenir fanatique dans un sens ou dans l'autre. Que ce soit au niveau politique ou religieux. Et au niveau, juste milieu aussi au niveau technique de méditation. وكذلك الاعتدال من ناحية من مستوى التأمل. On dit et on expérimente en yoga que quand on expérimente complètement l'équilibre, la symétrie des deux côtés du corps, à ce moment-là, l'énergie rentre dans l'axe central. Zan نقول عندما نختبر هذا التوازي في الجانبي. الجسد عندها ندخل إلى المحور المركزي. ولا مي. Okay. <coughs> La plupart des fois, je sens une, émo une émotion perturbatrice comme un malaise dans le corps, ou plutôt elle éveille une douleur ancienne dans le corps, ou cette douleur, ou plutôt cette douleur l'éveille. Comment faire dans ce cas? غالبا ما أشعر بانفعال اضطرابي 
كضيق وانقباض في الجسد أو بالحري يوقظ هذا الانفعال ألما قديما في الجسد أو أن هذا الألم القديم يوقظ الانفعال لا فرق ما العمل عنده دونك سي توت لا كيسيون دي لا ميتاسيون سو لي دولور فيزيك كي اوسي ريلي على ميتاسيون سو لا سوفرانس بسيشيك إذا إنها مسألة التأمل على الآلام الجسدية والذي يرتبط أيضا بالتأمل العزبات النفسية On va juste faire une liste des choses qu'on peut faire. يمكن أن نعطي جدولا لائحة بالأمور التي يمكن أن نقوم بها. Inspirer, expirer à travers la zone douloureuse. مثلا أن نتنفس شهيقا وزفيرا في المنطقة التي نشعر بألم فيها. Éplucher toutes les tensions autour de la zone douloureuse comme on éplucherait un oignon. أن نقشر هذه الضغوطات في المنطقة الوجع الألم كما نقشر البصلة. Faire circuler l'énergie de la zone douloureuse dans une zone symétrique. أن نجعل طاقات هذه المنطقة التي نشعر بألم فيها نجعلها تجري في منطقة أخرى موازية لها. Par exemple, du genou droit au genou gauche. مثلا أن ننقلها من الركبة اليمنى إلى الركبة اليسرى. Mais aussi de haut en bas, par exemple, du genou droit au coude droit. مثلا أو من فوق إلى تحت من الجبين أو من الكتف الأيمن إلى الكوع الأيمن. On peut sentir aussi que la zone douloureuse déclenche un bâillement. يمكن أيضا أن نشعر نحس أن هذه المنطقة الوجع تسبب تثاؤبا أو تسبب ابتسامة أو تسبب لذة جنسية والمديتاسيون الأكبر بروفوند هي أن تتزاجر la douleur ou les tensions dues à la souffrance psychique euh, comme euh, le sel se désagrège dans de l'eau. Ou la brume se désagrège dans le soleil. Ou la brume se désagrège في مع أشعة الشمس يذوب. voilà il y a deux questions dans le dans le le chat donc je vais répondre rapidement une question de Denis de Liège qui demande comment faire pour lutter contre les extrasystoles. c'est quoi les extrasystoles يعني les c'est une maladie cardiaque. les battements de cœur irréguliers. hein les bas, comment faire pour lutter contre les battements de cœur irréguliers Ok. Oh, c'est une grande question, ça. Oui. Comment faire pour lutter contre les battements de cœur Ben, Il faut rééquilibrer le système végétatif. Il faut le système végétatif, c'est-à-dire parasympathique et, et sympathique. إذا الجهازين السمتاوي والما بعد السمتاوي. faire souvent des arrêts poumons vides mais sans forcer. أن نمارس مثلا القبض النفس والرئتين فارغتين ولكن من دون أن يعني نجهد كثيرا في هذا الجانب دون أن نمارسها إلى حد أقصى. Faire la petite respiration un peu superficielle qui relaxe beaucoup. Faire le balayage des yeux latéral pour une relaxation globale.
voilà, et donc, euh, euh, c'est euh, euh, des choses qui, qui aident. Et puis, si ça ne marche pas, ne pas hésiter quand même à, à voir euh, s'il n'y a pas une cause physique pour ces extrasystoles. Mais la plupart du temps, le rééquilibrage du système végétatif soit guéri complètement, soit aide bien à diminuer les, les épisodes. Mais qu'est-ce que vous comprenez par équilibrage du système végétatif? Ben, C'est tout ce que j'ai dit, hein, toutes mm. ces méthodes de respiration. Et on peut rajouter aussi, la, euh, bien sûr, la cohérence cardiaque. Hein, C'est connu pour bien agir sur les extrasystoles, c'est-à-dire euh, inspirer sur cinq battements de cœur, expirer sur cinq battements de cœur. Et juste deux conseils pour la cohérence cardiaque. Associer une formule, une syllabe par battement de cœur. Donc, associer une formule. Et que l'expiration soit plus, un peu plus lente que l'expiration. Et bien. Là encore le temps. Vous conseillez de sentir en méditation dans, dans le corps les émotions perturbatrices qui jaillissent. Mais comment faire en cours de la journée et pas dans la méditation quand on sent ce genre d'émotions? تنصح بأن نحس خلال التأمل في جسدنا الانفعالات الاضطرابية التي تظهر لكن ما العمل عندما نشعر خلال النهار لا في التأمل بانفعالات من هذا النوع Bien, ben c'est moins facile dans la journée, mais ça aide d'avoir un entraînement, par exemple, par la méditation du matin. Zan, ليس بالسهولة نفسها نفسها عندما نشعر بذلك خلال النهار ولكن س et que ce soit euh, dans la méditation du matin ou pendant la journée, la rapidité de l'esprit est essentielle. Rapidité de l'esprit. Mais que ce soit pendant le matin, pendant la méditation ou alors pendant la journée, la rapidité euh, de réaction de l'esprit est essentielle. في النهار فإن سرعة الاستجابة وردة الفعل في الفكر مهمة جدا. Ça rejoint l'instruction du sage Atisha, du sage tibétain Atisha. وهذا ما يقوله الحكيم Atisha. L'instruction secrète suprême, c'est de toujours observer son propre esprit. إذن التعليم التعليمات الأساسية السرية هي أن نراقب دوما ذهننا. Imaginez notre corps comme un jardin. Quelle est l'utilité de ce schéma dans la transformation des images et des émotions en des sensations dans le corps? أن نتخيل جسدنا حقيقة. ما فائدة هذه الصورة؟ oui, quand on est dans l'état de rêve, euh, toutes les scènes qu'on voit euh, sont euh, ramenées à, euh, au schéma corporel. Même si on visualise, par exemple, en état de rêve éveillé, une galaxie, la galaxie sera réduite au niveau de notre corps. Donc, 
avec le sang de la galaxie dans le cœur et les branches de la galaxie dans les pieds et les mains, par exemple. Et donc, en revenant aux sensations à partir des images et en relaxant les sensations, on peut se libérer des images mentales. Voilà. <rire> ok. Euh, la dernière question du moment oui. qu'il n'y a qu'une seule, même si on a pris un peu plus de temps. Le corps a-t-il une certaine mémoire spécifique qui, enregistre, qui enregistre chaque émotion perturbatrice dans un endroit particulier et quand cette émotion rejaillit de nouveau, elle entraîne avec elle la sensation déjà enregistrée. Et si oui, comment sortir de ce cercle vicieux? Halil Jassad Zakira Khassa, tu sais, il coule une fiale et tirabi fi makan in moayen, behay suma an yuawi de hadal in fiale zuhur min jadid, hatta yukiza maahul in fiale musajal, ida kana zelika sahihan, fa kaif al khuruj, min hezi hil halaka al mufra. Oui, on peut dire que ça fonctionne comme ça. Chaque toute petite partie du corps est reliée à plein de souvenirs. C'est tout à fait comme un forage quand on cherche du pétrole. À chaque niveau du forage, on trouve des couches de sédiments différents. Et pour se libérer de ces automatismes, c'est très important de ne pas réagir aux sensations. De ne pas courir après les sensations désagréables parce que ça peut mener à l'addiction. De ne pas courir les désagréables ou agréables. Les, les agréables. Hein, ne pas courir après les sensations agréables. Et de ne pas fuir les sensations désagréables, parce que sinon, ça leur donne plus de pouvoir sur nous. Et donc, il s'agit donc de faire face, se détendre et trouver son équilibre. C'est la définition de la méditation par un maître zen, maître Vangshi. Et on peut travailler pendant des dizaines d'années sur cette définition de la méditation. Très bien. Voilà. Et ça, nous accueillons, قبل أن نختم, أننا في الأربعاء ليس المقبول الذي ما بعده le mercredi 14, on va donc, on va parmi nous avoir Tenzin Palmo dans une interview qui va s'adresser à tout le monde arabe. Nous accueillons بأننا بعد أسبوعين الأربعاء 14 شهر وستتلقون إعلانا بذلك سنستقبل في مقابلة مساعدة قداسة الدلائي لما تنزين بالمو ونأمل أن تنشروا عندما تحصلوا على هذا الإعلان تنشروه في كل بين كل معارفكم كي يكون الحضور بحده الأقصى وتكون الإفادة بحدها الأقصى من هذا هذا هذه المقابلة الاستثنائية. donc à la semaine prochaine et 
à plus à tout le monde. Oui. Et donc, je vais écrire euh, à Tenzin Palmo rapidement hein, ouais. pour lui euh, voilà, fixer pour le rendez-vous. Voilà. OK. Il faut qu'on se voit au, sur Zoom peut-être pour préparer le, les questions qu'on va lui poser. D'accord. Hein, mais oui. Dans la semaine ou la semaine prochaine. Enfin, tu m'envoies un message et on fera... OK. Ce OK. C'est important, oui, de préparer. Oui, oui, voilà. Bien. Allez. À plus. Au revoir. À tout le monde.